Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I've been doing a number of videos recently about uh, learning Hebrew and using popular media to improve Hebrew, which is something I'm a huge believer in, using films, TV series, uh, current affairs programming, that kind of thing, anything uh, like that to learn a language by uh, basically just using captions. And as I explained, I recently made sort of a big breakthrough uh, in discovering that you can now, the technology exists, that you can automatically translate captions. Uh, on YouTube desktop, it is a functionality. You just need to go into settings, captions, and you can click on auto translate and it will automatically, so even if the video is only captioned in Hebrew or whatever language you're learning, but let's stick with Hebrew, you can automatically translate those captions into English, French, Russian, German, whatever you want. And that really, really opens up a huge world of uh, material that's helpful for learning as opposed to Hebrew translated into German, Hebrew translated into French, Hebrew translated to English, because there's gonna be less of that because it takes a lot of effort and time to produce subtitles. Once you do it, you understand. Subtitles are kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, to produce but um, they do produce some for Hebrew because you know for people who are hard of hearing or deaf um, and so once you once you these tools these automatic translation tools are incredible because they allow language learners uh, to basically use all that content that's only subtitled in Hebrew for language learning purposes and that's why I'm pretty excited about having discovered this now um, in the course of making these playlists I've built out a number of playlists um, for learning Hebrew. I've shared these on Reddit. There's a Reddit community for Hebrew learners called Our Hebrew. I recommend it. And I've built out these big playlists of everything I could find subtitled in Hebrew and just shared it because it's helpful to me. It might be helpful to others. Now, a lot of the content I've uh, included has been from Can and specifically from their Can Digital YouTube channel. So I thought I'd take a few moments to explain what is CAN. So CAN is the uh, branding for what's, called, what's in English, the Israel Public Broadcasting Corporation or IPBC. In Arabic, its branding is uh, MAKAN. Uh, but in Hebrew, it's CAN. And in English, it's uh, CAN as well. It's it typically spelled K, typically transliterated K-A-N. Now, CAN is Israel's state broadcaster, which means it's part of the government. It's funded by you and I taxpayers. It's like RTE in Ireland or uh, Voice of America in the US. Now, something that I firstly, I'm actually a big fan of CAN. I've been watching their stuff and their series for a number of years. I think it's high quality. Their current affairs programming is engaging. Uh, but more so than that, I found it interesting that can, um, the, the, the weird position of state broadcasters is always that they're funded by the taxpayer, they're part of the establishment. Um, but at the same time, can, I think, has shown some quite impressive editorial integrity and independence um, in terms of putting our programming critical of uh, government decisions, critical of organs of government. For instance, one of the can videos I recently watched was a undercover expose. Um, I can't remember which 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 of the series it was. It was one of the ones that had subtitles. It was Shetach uh, Hefker, which means uh, no man's land is actually the translation of Shetach Hefker. But they did like an undercover expose where they showed the lax security at IDF bases. They infiltrated the uh, IDF bases and it was obviously critical of the army and the IDF is the kind of sacrosanct uh, government body in Israel. So I was quite impressed by that. So I think their stuff is, uh, it's it's not just kind of, you know, what you might, the worst form of state broadcasting, which is in the, in the case of, you know, dictatorships like North Korea, it's just mindless propaganda. It's very, very far from that. And it's good stuff as well. So uh, that is what CAN is. It's uh, basically the Israel's public broadcaster in English, IPBC. It was founded in 2017 as the successor to IBA. That's what it used to be called, the Israel Broadcasting Authority. And under the Netanyahu government, it was reorganized a little bit and uh, spun out as a, it has a new name in English or its new name in Hebrew, IPBC, but CAN 
is the one that it uses to brand itself. Now, as well as that, it has one TV channel that's free to air. That means that um, the signal is broadcast unencrypted and you don't need a TV license. Anyone who has a TV uh, can pick it up and that's called Can Echadisre or Can 11. So Can operates one TV channel and they also have on YouTube, they put the uh, a lot of content out and that's why it's extremely valuable for uh, Hebrew learners. Now I just want to give a, show you guys a quick uh, whistle stop tour of the content that I'm talking about and just to explain what these different channels are. So I just searched in YouTube for can and I filtered on channel. So their main, this is the one can digital. The first result here has 3000 videos versus 32 for can had a show. So there's less on can digital. Can digital is like the kind of content produced by their digital team. And for whatever reason, I presume they're like different teams. This is the one where they add subtitles to a lot of their content. You can see subtitles, 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 uh, not in all of them, but a lot of them. And that's why I've been building out my playlist based on a lot of what can Digital do. Now there's also other YouTube channels. These tend to be, so can had a show means uh, can news. So they take the kind of news bulletins they broadcast on can Echadisre and they uh, put them up, but they don't typically add YouTube subtitles. They tend to embed the subtitles, which makes them less useful uh, for Hebrew learners. There's also Kan Chinuchit, which is Kan uh, Educational. There is, now Kan Echadisrei actually has its own YouTube channel with a bunch of videos, 28,000 videos. But again, unfortunately, for whatever reason, for uh, this particular YouTube channel, they don't seem to add uh, subtitles. Uh, what else is there? There's more YouTube channels. If you really want to dig, dive into Can, there's Can Calculi, which means Can their financial or economic programming, Can Musica, Can Lomdim, and there's also a children's TV. Oh, there's also an archive one. Uh, so that is basically what it is. The amount of content they, up they upload to YouTube is pretty impressive, given that there was, what, 32,000 videos on uh, Kan Chadashot and 32,000 videos on Kan Chadashore, plus the 3,000 videos on Kan Digital. In total, we're talking about, like, you know, 60, 70,000, I'm including all the other little channels now, videos in YouTube, much of which are subtitled in Hebrew. Unfortunately, not all of them. And uh, together, it just comprises a fantastic reservoir of content for Hebrew learners. Anyway, that's uh, my overview of Can. Um, if you are learning Hebrew, please do uh, check out my playlists. I'll put a link to them in the description. I am constantly adding to them. Uh, there's one for Hebrew with English subs. I've done another for Hebrew with Hebrew subs intended for use with auto translation. And finally, I've uh, created a playlist for just for Can Digital, all their content, which is kind of on the longer side, typically more than five minutes, and which is also subtitled. And um, if you want to just sit down in front of a TV, turn on auto subtitle translation, watch, um, keep a notepad by your desk, pause the TV whenever you see a word you don't know, write it down in a notepad or whatever you want to do, but it can be a great way to pick up new vocabulary. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do feel free to subscribe to get more content from me here on YouTube. Thank you for watching.